Well, thanks, Buck. We've gone ahead and we've tied the pursuit up back here at the marina. And I gotta tell you, it is hot. It's about 95 degrees. We've got humidity of about 90%. And it sure would be nice to have some marine air conditioning. But thank goodness we have an expert in this field. Hi, Frank. How are you doing, John? I'm Good doing great. I want to introduce you to everybody. This is Frank Marciano. And Frank is the president of the Medic Environmental. Yes. And if people don't know at home, your company owns some very big lines of marine air conditioning. Yes. I'm talking about marine air. I'm talking about cruise air. And if you're a boater, air conditioning, those names are synonymous. Okay? But there have been a lot of advancements in air conditioning over the years. Mm -hmm. And this is different, this one here. And I want you to kind of show us how you've taken marine air conditioning to the next level. Well, this is our turbo series. We just introduced it at the Miami Boat Show this year. And basically, this has a molded composite pan. It is a completely molded pan, it's structural foam. There is a drain trough in here and there are three drain optional hookups where you can get water out. And you can also see there's vibration isolation mounts which reduce the transfer of vibration to the hull. Okay. And that's very, very important. In addition, uh, being that it's a composite product, it's not gonna rust. There's not gonna be any discoloration, there's not gonna be any rust out of this pan ever. What are the components that are mounted into this pan here? Well, you have a compressor, which is basically the heart of the system, which pumps refrigerant through a condensing coil, where you have seawater coming in and out of the condenser coil that condenses the refrigerant. You have an evaporator that evaporates the refrigerant, removes heat. You have a blower that moves air. And there's a reversing valve there, so you can run it in heat or cool. It's a reverse cycle heat pump. Okay, well, people see us sweating. It's hot out it's here. It's hot. Okay, but I'm it's seeing... Hot. We need air blowing on us here. Let's talk about the blower. <laughs> yeah, we do. Let's talk about the blower. Okay, this is not typical. I don't see a motor out here, Frank. Where's the motor? Right. Our, typically today, our standard units have a motor outside of the blower, and that has just been the standard configuration for many years. It increases the width of the unit. This is a motorized impeller where the motor is now inside, in the middle of the wheel. Uh, and now with this revolutionary new design, we've made this blower standard on the system across the board. Can we rotate it at all though? Yeah, this has just one screw. You loosen the screw, you can rotate the blower up to 270 degrees. It does not change the height of the unit when it rotates. Compared to a conventional system where you have sheet metal screws that are self-tapping, you have to remove four screws, rotate the blower, put the four screws back in, this is just one screw. You loosen it, rotate, tighten the screw, and you're done. Take a look at this plate right here. Okay, do you see this? Do you see that figure? I'm pointing to 8,000 BTUs. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is a BTU? A BTU is a British thermal unit. It's just a, a unit of measure that's been used for a long time to measure removal of heat. Let's talk about how much space we're trying to air condition on this 25-foot pursuit with the Cuddy Cabin. Okay. You've got about 200 cubic feet in that cuddy cabin. And basically, we take that 200 cubic feet, we look at the boat, we look at the hull, we look at the glass, and we come up with a factor to calculate BTUs. With this particular boat, we used a factor of 15 and came up with 3,000 BTUs, heat loss requirement. So I would need a machine, if I were able to air condition that boat, I would need a machine, an air conditioner, with at least 3,000 yes, BTUs. correct. Now you've come up with an air conditioning system specifically for guys like me right. that don't have room for a generator on a boat. You got you got to remember, air conditioning units work off of 110, correct? Yes. Or, or 115. 115 uh, am I saying volt, that right? 110 volt. Yep. Okay. Now if you don't have a generator, up until now you really haven't had an option for marine air conditioning before. Well, they're portable units you can have when you're plugged into the dock and that type of thing. But other than that, as far as a built-in system, if you don't have a generator, you, you know, they use too many amps. Okay, talk to me about this machine right here because this is going to change the pleasure boating experience. Well, this is called our DC Cuddy unit and there's 3,500 BTUs. Although it has a 115 volt compressor and blower motor, we've designed a power module which allows you to use your batteries. You hook up your 12 volt battery power here and then this just plugs in right into the harness that is on the unit. So the unit comes with a harness for the pump, the control panel, and the electrical module. Talk to me about, see the batteries over there? Yes. How many batteries do we need 
to run the power unit to run this air conditioning unit. Well, if you put two Series 31 batteries together with this system, this system will run continuously for four hours. If you were to use three Series 27 batteries, this will run continuously for eight and a half hours. So you're pretty safe with 327 series batteries sleeping in a boat overnight on an out island or something like that. Okay, let's talk about the kit. All okay. right, we actually have the air conditioner, which is right here. We have the power unit. What else do we need? Well, you have a pump right here, and basically you have to put a through hole in the boat with a clam scoop, a strainer, and then you'd run your uh, hoses to the pump and then run it to the condensing coil here on the unit. So you have to have your pump again it has the polarized plug, so it mates very easily with the main unit. How all marine air conditioning works is it uses raw water outside the boat, it brings it into the unit, it cools it, and it pumps it back out, and it's a constant cycle. Correct. Okay? Correct. Now, now what about a, a thermostat? Okay, this is basically your thermostat. You can turn the fan on, and then you can turn the compressor on, so the entire unit will operate, and then you just set the desired temperature and away you go. And this also has a polarized plug which plugs right into the main harness. Price, how much? A complete system with the polarized plug, the pump, the control module, and the control is $2,250 starting price. Frank, thank you so much. Thank you, you can see how hot it's we hot. are. <laughs> hey, right now we need to take another time out, but when we come back, we're gonna be cooling things off with a professional installation. We're gonna have Beard Marine on, and we're gonna take you through this process, and we'll cover it. Whew right after this.